I'm coming in hot. Yo, let's talk about how a and Andy Mineola Craze coming in hot, how that record came together. Andy Lecrae had a tour book for Fall uh, 2018. They needed the record. They wanted to announce the tour with the new song, with the dates all in one to kind of create that special moment. And um, this all kind of happened fast because they weren't 100% sure the tour was gonna happen. But once we got the green light, we kind of had to move super fast to get all that content um, queued up. So um, Andy was doing some tour stops in uh, San Diego area. Lecrae was on vacation with his family in LA. And they had like two days to turn a song in to have it ready for the announcement of the tour. So it was a super tight window. Andy Lecrae had a folder of beats that they already had curated that they were gonna record to. At the last minute, the folder of beats, and I think there was three beats that they had selected to work on, the producers um, for those tracks had told them that the tracks weren't available anymore. And they basically needed to find some new beats at the last minute. So who do they call? This is where like my A&R chops are like put in the pressure cooker because it's like the artist needs the music, the timeline is tight, Ace, what can you do? So I went through all my producer folders, all my producer friends, trying to find the right kind of beat that could be a, a tour single and not just a tour single, the right kind of tour single for Andy Mini on Lecrae. So did my due diligence, went through folders, curated a bunch of beats, hook ideas, did all that, put them in a folder, sent them to Lecrae and Andy. Andy was on the tour bus, um, I think before the studio session, and um, had sent me a voice note of this hook idea that him and Royce Play were messing with coming in hot. And he had did it to this one beat that was in the folder. It was to a sock passe beat. I think that beat was so special and is the reason why they picked it because that folder had like probably 30 beats in there. And the sock passe beat was just signature. That sound was just infectious and they just, as just Andy and the Worst Play caught a vibe to it. That same beat I had actually sent out to pretty much all the Reach Records artists. Most of them liked it. Nobody could cut anything real to it. It just never really materialized. I think RG cut something to it, but it just never could finish it, right? So Andy sends me the voice note of the idea of him and the Worst Play that had been working on coming in high. And I thought that that lyric was sticky. I was like, yo, this could be something really dope. So they get to the studio that night. Lecrae drives two hours, like eight o'clock to like, 10 o'clock for a late night studio session. He's tired, he's burnt out. But they get to the studio, I think uh, Belief is there, Andy Minio's there, Wars plays there, Lecrae pulls up, and they start drafting this idea, kind of fine tuning the lyrics, and bam, the song happens, right? And Lecrae has to drive all the way back to LA at like two in the morning, it's a two hour drive from LA to San Diego. But the rough drafts of Coming In Hot were started that night, the next day, I think Lecrae flew back to Atlanta and cut his finished verses with Biz. Andy finished writing and recording his verse on a tour bus, I believe. Um, or oh, maybe it was at a hotel. I can't remember. But anyway, it was done within like the next few days. And there you go. That's how the record came together. And um, the cool thing about the production of the record, because I had to touch some of the beat, the song started without any drums. It was just, I don't do the most, but I do the uh, I'm gonna make it. So, so that pause, there was nothing in the beat that signaled for the listener to know what to do. And I thought that was like a big risk. You can't start a song a cappella unless it like has the right rhythm and punch to it. So um, I actually was inspired by Missy's record produced by Timbaland, uh, Hot Boy. There's a part in the beat where it's like, brum, dun, brum, brum, brum. so I took that idea and I added a kick and some 808 um, under that hook to kind of give the record some like punch and some like arrangement so that the listener can hear and know what to do and kind of set up the climax of the hook. And then the last thing that Andy added, which is, you know, really, really a testament to his genius is um, there wasn't like a segue between the last few bars of the hook to coming in hot and when the beat dropped, it was just shoot my shot, coming in hot. It was definitely bugging Andy. He was like, yo Ace, we need to add that moment in the song where at, when I'm at the concert, people know exactly what to do. So we tried a bunch of ideas. We even had this really cheesy countdown. I think it was like three, two, one. Some dude in like a British accent, some vocal sample we found. That was trash, it didn't make the cut. And then this is definitely the brilliance of Andy Mineo. He found an ad lib in the session from Lecrae. It was like, bleep, bleep, bleep. copied that over. And to this day, that part is the part of the song that most people resonate with. Even my like two year old son at the time would hear that part and just go crazy for it. So that's how I A&R made the record. Yeah, that's how it came together.
Coming in hot. <laughs>